this Diddy one. This is gonna this is gonna be good the next couple weeks. All this other and he he starts selling off everything. You know, he sold off Revolt. Uh he had the the falling out with the liquor company and him. Some people say that's that a lot of that has to do with that because the people that backed him and Ciroc and was giving him gobs of money, uh when he sued them to separate from them, they was like, wait, 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 we blew you up and now you're coming after us. And there's that rumor out there. There's just so much smoke and not everybody's lying. So now you're like, who are we supposed to listen to? There's so much the way he said it with Cassie so fast. And not to mention the, the, the violence aspect of this. I'm like, I didn't realize how many people have died around Diddy? I'm like, so all this came out this week. I was like, oh, I forgot about that. Forgot about that. And now I don't want to get in conspiracy theories, but now people that like died of suspicious circumstances, not violently, but passed away in their sleep or didn't see it coming. It's like this. There's a tie to Diddy. Man, if 50 does that documentary, Surviving Diddy, I'm like, everybody going to watch that. But... It's almost like, yeah, you want to withhold judgment, but I'm like, at the same time, it's like, yo, <laughs> there's so many people. There's so many people. And, it, you know, a few people have come out and brought up race, and I go, all right, this this is definitely not a race case at all. They, they ain't doing this to Denzel. They they never did this to Sidney Poitier. They're not doing this to Lenny Kravitz. You know, they're not doing this to 9% of the people. Not doing. They're not doing this to uh, offset or uh, Lil Yachty. They're not doing none of this. I'm just, I'm just saying this. There's a lot. There's a lot to take in. Uh, never been to a Diddy party. I've been par I've been at parties with Diddy, but it wasn't a Diddy party. Uh, but uh, just the rumors. And then there's oh, there's such a look, such a weird audio it's supposed to be of him and meek mill and you just hear this men groaning and i go i, I hope that's not a, i'm so mad i listened to it because i somebody i'm thinking i'm clicking on something that they're talking about it i click on something i don't realize what's going on so the guy starts talking about it i just hear Ugh, ah, uh, uh, and i'm going what is this and then the guy goes then the guy starts talking like yeah man Let's hope that ain't Diddy and Meek Mill. And I went, whoa. Why didn't you tell me that before I clicked play? <laughs> you just, I just thought it was another thing on Diddy. And I was like, oh my gosh. That, I mean, there, there's that stuff coming out too. Like he's got, he's got cameras in all his house. All his houses, Miami and LA, he's got cameras in all the rooms. So if anybody did anything, he's got videos. We can, he can, he can um, extort people. And things like that. And that's why people haven't come out against them. And I'm going, that's some sick shit too, though. If that if that's true, why you got cameras in every room? That's some sick shit. You just want to see people banging out and stuff like that. I'm like, if that's true, I'm like, ugh. But, and nobody, that's the one thing that I haven't heard. Nobody has said, Diddy ain't doing none of this stuff. I mean, I'm talking about the people that uh, are allegedly tied to him. Meek Mill, Bieber, Usher. You hear all these stories about them. And I'm going, I wish, not wish, but none of them are saying, nah, nah, none of this shit's true. None of it. They're all just, everybody's just kind of falling back and kind of being quiet. So that that's a red flag. To me. So we'll see how this plays out. Hell, even I'm being careful. I don't want nobody coming after me. <laughs> I mean, this stuff. But the, the 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 violence, man. Somebody just did a whole thing on uh Diddy. Let me see if what pops up. Cause I I know I'm forgetting some stuff. Here we go. A timeline of allegations against Diddy. So, this, this is what I'm talking about. So, 
1990. Uh, Lisa Garner alleged Combs, an R&B singer, Aaron Hall sexually assaulted her and her friend in 1990. 1991. Joy Dickerson Neal alleged Combs drugged and sexually assaulted her when she was 19, and he allegedly recorded it. 1993. Combs found a Bad Boy Records began discovering big. That's not a. Okay, that's not violence. That's when he discovered B.I.G. April 1999, Combs arrested on suspicion of assaulting Interscope Records ex Steve Stout, and he pleaded guilty to harassment. December 99, Combs was charged with criminal possession of a weapon after police found a gun in his car following a shooting in a, in a New York City nightclub. And then girlfriend Jennifer Lopez were both arrested. Um, 2003, uh, former member Harvey Pierre, and a third unidentified person allegedly drugged and gang raped a 17-year-old girl. Uh, Jane Doe, the alleged assault took place in New York City recording studio after Pierre and the identified man flew in with the victim from Detroit. 2005, Combs, uh, 19 year old Ventura Express, interest signed a brother. What? 2006, Ventura signed a 10 album deal with Combs label. Legend November that she used the time to set the groundwork for his manipulative course of romantic rela relationship with Ventura. That must be Cassie. Um, 2007, Combs signed a multi year deal with. Diago, Diageo, that's the British beverage company to develop Ciroc Rock over 50 50 share in profits. Combs and Ventura, mainly for the first time, and over to the last Ventura, less that Combs, this is Cassie, took advantage of his position as the head of the record label and convinced her to take illegal drugs before having sex with her for the first time. She also alleged that over nearly a decade long relationship, Combs physically and sexually abused her. Uh, Combs alleged he beat, beat her, kicked her, stomped her in the face until she vomited. Uh, he has a tremendous, she's saying Combs has a tremendously loyal network who witnessed the repeated assaults. We're not willing to do anything meaningful to stop the violence. 2012, uh, they break up. She dated King Cuddy. And now we all know that Diddy allegedly blew up King Cuddy's car. And, um, and he made sure Cuddy was home when he blew it up. Uh, and a representative for Kid Cudi confirmed the explosion. Uh, 2013, Combs launches Revolt. Um, 2014, Combs expanded his deal with Diego. I'm, I'm sure I'm mispronouncing it. D-I-A-G-E-O. Diego. To acquire high-end tequila brand De Leon. Uh, 2015, Combs arrested on suspicion of assault with a deadly weapon at a UCLA athletic complex following an altercation with a coach during which police said Combs used a kettlebell. Combs' son played football at UCLA at the time of the altercation. Now, I forgot about Mount... Mount I forgot to mention that about him getting a fight with the the football coach at UCLA. Uh, August 2015, Cassie said that the relationship with Combs, he forced her to perform uh, sexual acts on male sex workers and taking more drugs. Um, he recorded the encounters there on violence if, if, if Cassie refused to participate, the suit said. 2018, Ventura repeatedly tried to sever ties with Combs and met he met him for dinner. Um, Combs allegedly forced himself into the general's home after the dinner and raped her while she repeatedly said no and tried to push him away. Um, 2022, <laughs> so random. Gets a lifetime achievement more from BET. Uh, 2022, 23, music producer Jones alleged that Combs sexually assaulted him over a year-long period where Jones was living on Combs' property and working on the production of the Love album Off the Grid. Jones also alleges in the February lawsuit that Combs tried to groom him into engaging in sex with the producer Steve Aaron Jordan, also known as Stevie J. Uh, June 2023, Combs, this is where I think, this is where I think shit kind of hit the, f this shit didn't help at all because Combs went after some powerful people that were backing him. Combs sued beverage company Diago for allegedly treating the brands he co-owned, Daily on Tequila, Rock Vodka, and Fear of Black Brands or Ethnic Brands in a racial discrimination lawsuit. Uh, Diego denied allegations of racism in previous statements with the Times. Um, and that's where they, they settled out of court for an enormous amount of money. And and we all know the rest after that. Uh, okay, January 24, Cones withdrew his race discrimination lawsuit with Diago. During the Times, Diago said the former partners had no ongoing relationship with either Ciroc or De Leon. And... Uh, and then now homeless security searched Combs home in LA as part of a federal inquiry into sex trafficking allegations against him conducted by the prosecutors of the Southern district of New York. 
Combs reportedly sold off all his shares in Revolt TV. The company found too late for another to close them out. So there's a lot. There's just a lot. But he's never he's never really done hard time and never really anything really happened. So I'm saying when you're a billionaire, you got deep pockets too. So uh we'll see how this plays out. It's gonna be interesting, man. It's gonna be interesting. So, anyways. That was just my two cents. Don't cross 50 cent. Don't sleep with minors. Uh, that's pretty much what you got out of this podcast today. Yeah, don't sleep with kids. Don't cross 50 cent.